Welcome to our studio tutorials for Fract. In this video, we're going to take a look at saving and sharing. One of the things we're really excited about in Fract is seeing and hearing what people come up with in the studio. We've built some tools that allow you to save, load, and even share your songs with others. So for starters, let's take a look at loading songs. I'll start by loading a song I was working on. You can do this from the pattern sequencer here. Now, let's say I wanted to make a few changes and save them. I could go ahead and do that here. Uh, maybe give it a new name. Or optionally, I can also overwrite the original as well. And it'll give me a little warning. So each song file contains all of the sequences and patterns in the song as well as the synth settings or presets for all three synths in the studio. And actually, speaking of synth settings or synth presets, you can also save and load individual presets to be used in your compositions later. Here, let me show you. So I'm going to load one of Mogi's bass synths. And there it is. Saving works the same way. Also, these songs and presets exist as files on your computer. This allows you to share them easily with other Fract users. If you want to access them, simply uh, click the respective Open Folder button, and that'll take you to the folder, folder on your hard drive. Um, you'll also find your save games and your recordings there too. Okay, now my favorite part, song sharing. So we've made it really easy for people to uh, upload and share their studio creations to YouTube. You start by connecting your YouTube account to Fract. This is done in the studio menu. Here, let me show you. Go here to the studio and we log in. This will open up a browser window and it will connect your, your Google account to Fract. Okay, so we accept this and promptly Fract is connected to your YouTube account. So we'll head back to Fract. And as you can see, we're logged in. And this is our account name. So uh, now it's just a matter of choosing a recording from over here. I'll select this one and hitting the upload button. So uh, now it's just a matter of giving it a title and choosing whether it's listed or not. So here we go. Uh, the video is encoding and then it's uploading. And there you go. That file is now up on YouTube, probably being converted as we speak. And it will be there if you want to make any changes whatsoever to the title, the description, or what have you. And that's how easy it is. So just like that, you can share your frack creations with the world. We're super excited to hear what people come up with, from the most ornate compositions to the flat out wacky experimental synth gems. We just can't wait to hear it all. So that covers saving and sharing. Have fun making stuff. Thanks from the Frack team.